Welcome to the Halo Arena Rigging Guide. In this short video, we will take you through the basics of using the integrated flying system on Halo Arena, how to link enclosures together, and how to fly an array from the Halo A Transit wheel car. Full details on this and all the other rigging procedures can be found in the Halo A user manual. Let's get started. Step one, rigging Halo Arena on the WC Halo A wheel cart. Lower the first enclosure onto the wheel cart and secure at the front using the enclosure link pins. Lift the rear of the enclosure and extend the rear link on the wheel cart. Pin the rear of the enclosure in place, ensuring to lock the transit wheel cart rear link in its upright position. Then add the next three enclosures, pinning the front of each enclosure as you go. Note, the yellow safety indicator on the front link is hidden when the rigging link is engaged. Next, remove the angle set pin and the enclosure link pin from the rear rigging assembly. Slide the display link on the first three enclosures to the 8 degree position and reinsert the angle and enclosure link pins to lock together. This is the correct setup to lock the enclosures together for transport. Step 2. Flying Halo Arena from the WC Halo A wheel cart. With the front links of the top enclosure extended, lower the FG Halo A grid onto the top enclosure. Use the front enclosure link pins to secure the flying grid in place. Lift the rear of the FG Halo A grid and extend the display link of the top enclosure. Set the angle of the display link of the top enclosure to your desired position. 3 degrees puts the FG Halo A parallel to the top enclosure. Then secure the display link of the top enclosure to the FG Halo A grid using the enclosure link position in the grid spine. Now remove the pickup links from their stow position on the FG Halo A grid spine. For two-point flying, position the pickup links at the front and rear of the FG Halo A. Remove the splay lock pins from the top three enclosures on the wheel cart. Next, remove the angle set pin on each enclosure. Use the handle to adjust the splay link to the desired angle. Use the angle set pin to lock the splay link in place. Repeat for all enclosures on the wheel cart. Ease focus should be used to determine the required angles. A link to download this free software with all the EM Acoustics product data can be found at www.emacoustics.co.uk forward slash support. Using your motor control, lift the array until the wheel cart leaves the ground. This will open up the angles between enclosures to the positions that you have set. Once the array is hanging, reinsert the splay lock pins to lock the angles. Now, disconnect the rear of the wheel cart first and allow it to rest on the ground. Then, disconnect the front. To add additional carts of Halo A, preset the angles as per the first wheel cart. With your angle set, lower the array onto the next cart and pin the front links in place. With the splay lock pins removed on the new cart, lift the array until the wheel cart leaves the ground. This will open the angles on the second cart of loudspeakers, at which point you can reinsert the splay lock pins to lock the angles as before. Remove the rear enclosure link pin from the bottom loudspeaker of the upper section. Lower the array to the ground, which will close the rear of the enclosures. This allows you to reinsert the rear enclosure link pin to lock the two sections together. Lift the array again until the wheel cart leaves the ground and follow the procedure as before to remove the wheel cart. This process can be repeated up to a maximum of 24 elements of Halo A. For more detailed rigging information, please see the Halo Arena user manual. Thanks for watching this video. It's intended to be a brief overview as to the procedures involved with flying Halo Arena and is no substitute for formal hands-on training. EM Acoustics do offer formal training courses and these can be arranged via the training link on our website. Thanks again for watching.